Hello everybody and welcome to another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today it is Season 1, Episode 25, There Was an Old Woman, starring Estelle Winwood as Monica Lawton, Charles Bronson as Frank, and Norma Crane as Lorna. And this is a very, very entertaining episode, in my opinion, one of the most entertaining of Season 1. Uh, it's probably not the most believable episode or even the best written overall, but this episode really flies by and it's just... Uh, very entertaining to watch. So we start with our main character, Miss Monica, and she's talking to a milkman who comes to the door, and it seems to be a sad day as a relative has passed away, and she also mentions that she has a lot of other guests that are visiting because of the circumstances. So that seems like a normal setup, even though we'll find out it's really not later on. So then we go to our other two main characters, Frank and Lorna, and they're eating. Uh, at the counter of what looks like a store or a diner or something. I'm not really sure. And the milkman comes in and he's talking to the man, uh, the deli man, uh, who seems to own the place. And he's talking about how Miss Monica's had these uh, sad events happen and that she's all alone and that she has a lot of money. Now it turns out that Frank overhears this and him and Lorna obviously want to take advantage of this situation as it seems like they don't have a lot going for them in the financial department right now. So they get there and they come up with this scheme, but Miss Monica just lets them in and figures that they must be some kind of distant cousins that are there for the funeral. And she introduces Frank and Lorna to the others, but we find out there's nobody really there. These are all uh, people that she imagines to be there. And when she talks to the empty chairs, it's pretty amusing, I have to say. This lady Monica's entertaining all throughout the episode. And she also talks to the cat which I thought was pretty funny as well, and that will be significant later in the episode. So then she takes Frank and Lorna up to the coffin, and we find out that there's nobody in there either. So she's basically kind of just imagined this whole thing. So Monica shows them their rooms, and Lorna's very concerned about this. She says this old woman's obviously crazy, and you never know what a crazy person will do. But Frank says he'll take care of it, and you can tell this guy's just really worried about the money. And as the episode goes, I have to say this guy becomes more and more unlikable, the more desperate that he gets. So Frank and Lorna search the room for the money, and they find nothing. Uh, I'm not sure why uh, Frank thinks so much that this lady would, Monica, would hide the money in that room that she put him in, but whatever, I guess I'll uh, just go with it. And I also thought it was funny how Monica comes in and tells them that they're, you know, pretty much messy and not very good house guests. So Frank confronts Monica at this point. He's starting to lose his temper and he says he just wants the money. And I thought it was kind of amusing that Lorna's more worried about food. And all I'll say is be careful what you ask for, Lorna, as we'll find out near the end of the episode. So eventually they go down to the kitchen and there's uh, no food there as we find out that this was all uh, pretty much made up as well by Monica. So Frank and Lorna talk again, and he's still just concerned about the money, and Lorna just keeps talking about how she hasn't eaten since the day before, which I thought was humorous. So after Monica rambles on some more, she talks about dinner. And at this point, before dinner, Frank also talks to Lorna about getting rid of Monica. You can tell Lorna doesn't really like this, but she goes along with it. So they go to dinner, and uh, they're waiting for the food, and Monica's seating all the imaginary people again, which was still funny. It never really seems to get hold, in my opinion. And, of course, nobody's there, and she tells them not to mind her and to start eating. But, of course, there's no food, and Frank and Lorna seem surprised by this. And my question is, why did they expect there to be food this time when there wasn't the last time? Uh, as I like to say, not two of the smartest uh, characters that this show's ever had. I guess that's a nice way of saying it. And during all this, Monica just keeps rambling. Frank and Lorna go in the kitchen and they get one can of soup that I guess they're splitting among themselves. I guess that's supposed to be Monica's food. And Frank also must think it's a bottle of wine because uh, there is one bottle there. And when he opens it, he says it's old vinegar that must have been there forever. And yeah, this was very amusing. And this pushes him over the edge, which is why it's significant. He's now mad. He pulls out a knife and threatens Monica and says he's not going to put up with this anymore. 
and he threatens her. He basically says he'll dispose of her, get rid of her, kill her if she doesn't open the safe. So she finally agrees, but only if he promises not to mess with any of her papers inside. So when she opens the safe, there really are only papers in there, and Frank gets mad, and he throws them on the ground. So Monica now says she's mad, and she says she'll never tell him where the money is. She'll never give him anything. And um, he says that I'll kill you then, and she says, well, if you do that, you'll never find out where anything is but then he threatens to kill her imaginary guests and this actually works temporarily as this really upsets um, Monica but once again uh, she basically tricks them she says let me have till the morning I have to think this over and think about what to do and Frank doesn't want to go along with it but Lorna convinces him again not the smartest move in the world so when we get to the next morning um, it turns out that Monica is making some cupcakes, but they're not for her or the cat, who's also there. Uh, she tells the cat because basically the cat couldn't take care of the mice and get rid of them. She's put some rat poison in these cupcakes, and she's going to give them to the mice, and that's how she'll get rid of them. Well, Frank and Lorna smell the food, of course, and come downstairs. And at this point, Monica is still stalling again, and she tells Frank she sent all the guests away so he won't be able to get to them. And uh, I thought that was... Uh, pretty clever on her part. So now Frank is really upset about this, but he thinks they've scared Monica to the point where she'll go along with it. The only problem is that uh, Frank and Lorna decide to eat first, so they actually eat the cupcakes with the poison in them, and uh, I would say the result for Frank and Lorna isn't too good. And this is also notable, this is the second episode in a row where somebody ate something they shouldn't have. I'm just saying people should be careful what they eat on uh, on Alfred Hitchcock Presents because it doesn't always work out too good. So then we get one last scene which really puts the episode over the top into the very good category for me. It basically starts, uh, it basically, we get a scene just like the beginning was where Monica's talking to the milkman and you know she says she's had two more deaths in the family this time they were distant cousins so we know who that was and it turns out that her bill is also due for the milk and the milkman tells her there's no hurry but she opens her purse and there's a ton of money in there and she gives him a thousand dollar bill and says uh, you can bring me change tomorrow and he tells her you shouldn't keep all that money in your purse and she says that's the safest place so <laughs> the money was in her purse the whole time after all that so maybe not the most believable or realistic episode as I said earlier but that doesn't always matter in this case I feel there was an old woman is very entertaining and I give it a four out of five Definitely an episode worth watching and a series classic in my opinion. So 4 out of 5 for There Was an Old Woman and as always thank you very much for watching.